I did half a zen, 13 hours till I land Had me out like a light, ayy, yeah. like a light, ayy, yeah. like a light, ayy Slept through the flight, ayy, not for the night, ayy, 767 Hey guys, I'm Cass and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new Today I thought I would do a New Year's Eve, Christmas, I don't know, whenever you want to wear this makeup look you can but I feel like this is giving me like New Year's Eve vibe or like Christmas Eve vibes. Like, you know, drinking a glass of red, being a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not never going to do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also have extensions in. Can we just appreciate how amazing these look? These are the Kiki hair extensions. They are in the deluxe 26 inch in the shade Caramel Swirl. I did take them to my hairdresser for her to cut into them because I do have a bit of a blunt cut. So yeah, she did an amazing job. The color matches my hair color perfectly. We didn't have to tone them or anything, which is amazing. I do have a discount code. It is CAS10. So for 10% off, make sure you use that at checkout. So I pretty much curled my hair extensions ages ago and they've still lasted so incredibly well. So I just stuck them in my hair and yeah, I'm so obsessed with them. I love them so much. So, so definitely go check out Kiki Hair Extensions. Yeah, enough of me talking. Let's jump straight into the makeup look. Okay, so Bare Face Bay is here. So I've already moisturized and now I'm just going to go in with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. I've been loving this lately. It is insane. So I apply that all over my face. And then I go in with the Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Pre-Makeup base and this is a different consistency to the first one I use that's a bit more moisturizing this one kind of mattifies your face but I feel like it fills in your pores so well so you need like two one to two drops of this and then I like to like pat it over my face and pat it over like anywhere I feel like I have more pores okay so then I'm just taking my NARS all day luminous weightless foundation in Barcelona and applying that to my face really runny. I've almost finished this foundation. It's one of my favorites. Also, I'm sorry about the audio and potentially the quality. Um, my main camera I usually use to film with is broken. So yeah, I'm using my vlogging camera and I turned off like it has like a skin softening filter thing and I've turned it off, but I'm not sure if it has, like I've turned it off in the settings, but okay. So foundation is on, time for concealer. I'm gonna be using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. My Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm almost out of my Tarte Shape Tape. So I've been loving putting concealer here. I just feel like it cinches your face in a bit, you know? Love that. So for cream contour, I'm just taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just putting it where I would normally powder contour. I just put a tiny bit of this just to give my face a bit of colour. Blends in so nicely. Like it's not like super pigmented, which is good. I'm sure you can probably build it up, but just for like that nice little subtle touch of color, it's perfect because it looks super natural. Okay, so for cream highlighter, I'm going in with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. I just got a lot wider. Why? Hello, hello. It's me. Hello, hello. So for powder, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Translucent Powder in the shade Banana Bread. So then I'm just going to go in with the Benefit Hello Flawless in the shade Toasted Beige. And just put that all over my face. So now I'm just going to brush off the powder under my eyes. I do tend to get a little bit more oilier. 
Okay, so to contour, I'm just taking my Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. And I'm just going to take a mixture of terracotta and desert and to contour. So if anyone could recommend me good contour palettes, please leave it down below. I'm kind of getting over this one. I've been using it for literally so long. I think I just need a new one. So now I'm just going to go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Just contour a little bit more. I go in with that one really, really lightly because it can get a bit muddy. Now I'm just going to clean up my contour again with the Huda Beauty Powder. So for blush, I'm just going to be taking the NARS blush in Madly. This is such a gorgeous colour. It's one of my faves. It pretty much goes with every eye makeup look and I think it's like the perfect blush shade if you're not really into blush or you're just new to starting out with blushes. It's beautiful. For highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop by Becca. I've recently rediscovered my love for this highlighter. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why I stopped using it. my brows, I'm taking my Benefit Cabrow in the shade number 4. I'm going to go and do my brows off camera only because I need to come up close and personal and you don't want to see that. So be up So I did my brows. I also went in with a brow powder and then to set my brows I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. Now I'm just going to brush off the bake. So moving on to the eyes. I'm keeping the eyes super super simple. I'm just going to be taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer on a big fluffy brush and putting that through my crease. Okay, I'm then going to go in with this Morphe 25B palette. This is my favorite palette in the world. I believe it was limited edition. So then I'm just going to take that brown shade there on a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to put that directly in the crease. But yeah. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take a mixture of those two shades here. And put it. Okay, so for my under eyes, I'm going to take that dark shade that we put in the crease. I also took the darker shade on the other side, but then I'm going to take those two shades that we used in the crease and smoke that out. For my inner corner, I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop again, and I'm taking it on... This came with the Naked Heat palette. I'm taking it on that fluffier side. And I'm just going to like swirl my brush in there and then I like to swirl it. This is how I've been loving doing my inner corner highlight. I like them. Okay, for mascara, I am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm just going to go in with the Quick Flick Eyeliner. I don't use the actual wing creating thing side. I just like to use the thin edge. And I'm going to do my wing not on camera because it's going to take me 20 years to do it. So I'll be back. I did my eyeliner, put my lashes on. These weren't originally the lashes I wanted to use. But the other ones broke and I'm not even sure if these ones match. So, And they're really big. I'm not used to wearing lashes this big. But Lip liner I'm going to use is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Spice Girl. And then I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Metallic Lipstick in New Year's Eve. This is limited edition. I got in the mail today. Can we just like... Look at that. Hopefully it's focused. Just wanted to jump on and show you the look with another color just in case you weren't comfortable wearing a bold dark lip this is just the Maybelline color jolt in stripped down I love it it's insane so yeah 